What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round up where we left off, we had successfully captured Stockholm and now we are trying to destroy the remnants of this garrison. My hope is that I can sufficiently uh, break them down enough so that either, either they will retreat hopefully this way, but if they retreat towards the capital then I've got enough of a garrison in there to maybe do something about it. Um, it's a bit of a tricky battle, so I can either try and intercept them before they go to Stockholm, and then risk them running around all over the place, or I just try and engage them now. So I've chosen to engage them now. So let us fight. We're fortunate in that most of their army is poor quality, um, whereas ours are... We've got a solid core of decent line infantry, so we should be able to outshoot them. The key will be deploying my cavalry at the right moment to ensure that I am destroying as much of their army as possible. So let's deploy, let's deploy fairly up, up in their faces because we do have to push up. Well, we have to push up at some point, whether that's immediate or not, I don't know. Probably I can have to move this wing up so they get over the crest. This wing's a bit more vulnerable because it's not got as much good infantry. So right now they've not spread them out all the way. I want them to have a bit of resiliency in case the cavalry comes for them. Let's put my pipes behind the cavalry. Put my put a squadron of cavalry on each wing. General in the centre. So my guns go for their guns. They've all missed. They even killed some guys back here. <laughs> That's how much they missed. Good, so one of their provincial cav units is very weak. The other cavalry units here, dragoons, that are still full of strength. Oh yeah, we are. I've got to move. So we are the ones actually attacking them. So because we're attacking them on the open field, they're probably not going to come after us. So let's begin. Begin moving up. Come on. Okay, they are coming up to us now, so you probably want to do something like this. Probably run it as well. Let's get the cavalry in. We run these guys as well. we'll also move up the cavalry. Yep, General's bodyguard is charging, so let's run these conscripts back towards the safety of the enemy of the Allied square. Pikeman's probably going to get shot in the back by... Get this line infantry to form square, get the general to charge in. Get this line infantry out of square and get them to also form up. Nope, actually it looks like... It looks like they want to commit their... Cavalry and charges against the squares. my pikes to go after the general. Artillery canister shot the provincial cav. Move up my cavalry. Move up my pikes just in case. Okay, now move my pikes in. To the provincial cav. No, I need to move. Oh, a candle right in front of my canister shot um, emblem. Get these guys out of square. Back in line. Guerrilla mercenaries. Smash my cavalry into them. Get 
Get my line up. Let's get my cavalry, let's get my pikes out of the way. Dragoons are coming back for more, so it's rushed. Oh no, they're actually not going to go. They're not going to charge. Okay, pikes, get in there. If they're going to charge up like that. Let's aim at the long distance target. Who's that right at the back? There's a weak unit of line infantry. These guerrillas have been charged mine. One unit of line infantry is probably enough to beat this regiment of foot. Let's get them back out of line. Do something with this flank now. Don't want to get too close to that West European mercenary unit, so let's bring them back around like so. They've not been killed, but oh no, they're only five men now, so I'll probably commit. These guys are guard mode off, so I want them to chase these irregulars down. guns. Both my guns to engage. General engage. Cavalry in. Well, may as well get them to kill that regular unit. You kill this unit of demi cannons. The rest of my line move up in good speed. Good, so now I go after the regiment of foot. You go after the shooting of demi cannons, maybe? So these chaps are probably going to actually no, don't have to escape, charge my cavalry in, let's break their formation. So I need to just start. Okay, actually maybe I might make my artillery pound ram. So I need to start getting guys in ready because they're going to start routing towards the safe haven. So let's get my cavalry start attacking a target that's not going to head towards this full unit of line infantry. Let's run. Let's just run. No, don't run my general's bodyguard into there. Run my general's bodyguard. Ooh. He's going to take a volley. unfortunate. Charge into him. Charge. Okay, let's make sure I get my Okay, let's run my general through. You're not experiencing any benefit right now to being tied up in this combat. Come on, slice and dice. Once we break, this last unit will be a lot 
much more chipper. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's get you to hit. Western European mercenaries, you hit. So you hit this unit of Western European mercenaries, you hit the unit of foot line. More and more elite unit of line, but I've got to let someone get away. Let's halt the artillery. And let's continue, I think. So I'm going to continue to the highest speed. So the idea is to, is to kill units, but at the same time, if we don't, you know, if we don't kill them, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Go back after that regiment of foot. Just keep my cavalry engaged. That's the main thing I want to do. I like they routed. Yeah, it's all ganging up, all ganging up on this one unit effectively. They're probably going to escape because some back here are going to get off of the map. They've all routed. Okay, so now let's see what damage on that side. Okay, good. So they've only got 400 men, so they've got... We don't have the capability to chase them down entirely, so let's just replenish what we've got. Um, they shouldn't be able to take the city. Then once this happiness building's been built, been repaired, it should start to get happy with me, then I can build a new school. Cool, so let's hit end turn. Here comes another British army. <laughs> They're probably going for Norway. But once I have Sweden under my control, I can start to build build up some garrisons, build up a garrison for my western coast, while also sending troops east to knock out Sweden. So I think I'd like to try take Finland, then request peace, let the Russians um, attack attack the cities on their borders, or maybe even the Polish might go for them. Because um, right now I'm I'm okay with not having a war, not having too much of a wide front. I would still occupy the border. Ooh, the Ottomans have taken Morocco. Lovely stuff. Let's just see what the, the Poles attempt to do. The Russians are going to take St. Petersburg, but the Swedes have taken... They're going to lay siege to Moscow. Um, absolutely just auto-resolve this. Boom! So now... I've got this raiding stack coming in. The Marathas want to trade, and they want to pay me for it. Yes. Let's do that. So what's probably going to happen is the army I've built... Well, I'm going to need to break them up a little bit, send a smaller unit up to the northeast towards Finland there to is block. There's a port in this region that has not yet hmm? been developed. Ber Bergen. Select Bergen again. Of course, I can tax Sweden, and they'll just about like it, but every turn they'll get happier and happier. Okay, so let's group some of these units together. And Let's see if how many see if we can pick the most experienced unit to fall into then. Good. I've still retained a three chevron infantry unit. Let's make sure units of like experience are grouped together first. It doesn't mean I have, it doesn't mean I have more to recruit. I have to recruit new units, but it also it helps bring down my replenishment costs. Good. So then I will probably Hmm. So now what do I do? I still can't fix you yet. I can replenish the militia, but what's the point? You're just a unit of pikes, so 
I'll send these three up to go engage that guy. Move this guy west. So you can take up a position ready to reinforce either Copenhagen or Norway. But now Sweden's being taxed. They're going to give me that sweet, sweet money. And we've got a military syllabus, so I need to build drill school before I can get fired by rank. So, yes, I think easy tech there is the best thing to do. Although I don't get why it's not letting me build spinning jenny, because I've got... Oh no, it's because I've not built the weaver's cottage, that's what it is. So I do have access to start researching both industrial techs now, which is good. Because I've got a smith's and I've got a craft workshop. Cool. So let's check our diplomacy. Good, we can open up more trade slots. Um, I might trade trade with trade with yeah, Persia's now currently trading with people we like to trade with. Good stuff. So we should be making a decent amount of well, I was about to say a decent amount of money with trade, but they're all being blockaded. Cool. Enter. So I've got a feeling they've gone to go pick up the army. Yep. So where are they going to move? Like, it looks like they, so they may try to attack Copenhagen. Because it looks like what they're probably going to end up doing is landing on the main body of Denmark. They're probably going to raid and do lots of sneaky things. And then they'd probably move to attack Copenhagen, so I need to move my guys to go and intercept them. But that should be okay, because our guys are getting more and more more powerful. The first thing to build is the new barracks. Get that building, so as soon as um, Fire by Rank is ready, I can start researching it. I also need to upgrade schools. Yep, damn right you retreat, Sweden. You get back now. Yeah, so don't count on anything to becoming worth worthwhile out of northern Sweden. So At least I'm interested that the Ottomans are still being beasts. It looks like the Polish are actually moving up and doing quite a lot of decent damage. Oh yeah, the Swedes took Moscow. <laughs> right, so move my pikes up. Because yeah, that's a simple one. Simple one. Let's reinforce you guys. We've built roads in Sweden, so... Replenish cannon foundry. Build the drill school. You guys replenish a bit more fully. Because they're not at war with... What have they got? 33rd foot again, marines, conscripts, Brunswick dragoons, Scottish line infantry. They've got some good stuff. Horatio Ashcroft. So I'm reluctant to bring him back fully because he might get into the same situation and now he's stuck on the, the mainland. Okay, so. 8,000 next turn to trade because lots of ports have opened up. I think the best thing to do... Hmm. School's built in three turns. They'll slowly get happy with me while it's being built. It's tempting to build. Can I upgrade any cheap happiness buildings in here? Yeah, sort of. 
I'm going to get a Royal Observatory because it's got that balance of happiness, research and tech and income. And then you're growing, you're also growing. So I'm going to upgrade the iron workshops. Good, because the idea is I want to make stack the deck a bit more in my favour in terms of happiness before I start building a school. Okay, so got got, got Skalk Nyland there. Plus one to treasury, plus one to minus treasury, minus four bonus. Okay, I, I just really hope he's not my treasury minister. Damn it, he is! But even with minus one to treasury, this is offset by comptroller. Minus 4% bonus to tax income is pretty annoying. I mean, overall, he's still pretty good. So I don't see a reason to get rid of him just yet. Cool, I don't think there's anything else I can do. But it's funny that <laughs> they've swapped St. Petersburg and Moscow. So I've got, I've got a feeling the Moscow situation isn't going to last very long. Um, but I would like to take Finland, because Finland gets me a couple of mines and some fur posts. Yeah, it does. And there's, a, I think, there's a fort here, which I probably want to garrison in case Russia tries anything. But yeah, Finland would be a good collar. So let's hit and turn. Cool. Oh no, the Brit that that British army isn't moving to come kill us. So when I get my next school up, I think. One of my key objectives is to build up a good navy. Because right now I'm in the situation where I can't just have a large standing army to fend off Britain when they choose to attack. I need to actually have I need to actually have something to be able to hit back. Ooh, the Ottomans are against a declared war on the Spanish, but the Spanish has successfully won. So they may storm over the crossing and hit Gibraltar themselves. Not Gibraltar, Morocco themselves. See, already this is more interesting than what usually happens. Oh, yep, yeah, here comes the Swedish fleet. Swedish fleet. Blockaded away. So... I'd like to try to... If I could take Finland and maybe get peace with the Swedes, that would be quite good, because I don't think I've got any chance of making more gains. St. Petersburg would be nice, but I doubt that they're going to be... that that's, the Russians are going to let that go. And I'm not about to declare war on Russia over it. I mean, I'm against I'm at war with a naval power, and I'm depending on trade, so I can't really afford to, to attack a great land power as well. Would like to a go to the Americas. Your home region has been blockaded by an enemy fleet. I know. What? It's not a very good fleet, though, is it? Let's be honest. Yes. Much just move them to Copenhagen for now. Yes. So let's repair the shipyard. Get ready to start building our new navy. pull these chaps back to the shipyard as well because they may as well be part of this navy okay now let's try to build a school it's going to bump up the clamor for a form but that's going to be built at the same time as the royal observatory theater's going to come in behind it and help let's build the ordnance factory just to give us new level next tier um object next tier um artillery text to build the new factories oh wow i don't actually have okay cancel the ordnance factory build the admiralty because i didn't realize that copenhagen actually didn't have um an admiralty so i couldn't research naval text so that's what makes stockholm even more of a better grab so let's do that to start to upgrade my navy Sweden and Poland are at war. Do 
be honest. Let's send my sixth to go have a look. So Finland's got no garrison. No one of worth. So is it a possibility if I just recruit a small army, go capture it, and declare peace? Or try to get peace? I think everyone else is. Everything else is happening how it usually happens. Generally. Then in India, the Mughals are still sparring with the with the Barathas. <laughs> Venice is gone for Michigan as well. But everyone seems to be. I don't know. The Spanish have taken Savannah. But everyone generally seems to be in similar places. Okay. Copenhagen's growing, population's growing a bit dodgy, but we're getting new next level farm tax. Cool. End turn. Here they come. That's a really backwards way to go about doing it. Hey, if they want to attack Copenhagen, I'll take my extra garrison bonus. Thank you very much. I think I either end up... See, it's either I build a strong navy to fight the British, or I go for a long shot. Yep, Spain's taken Morocco. I go for a long shot and just drop an army on Ireland and try and survive. Because to be honest, I'm starting to think that I can't actually... Because I'm four turns away from an admiralty, and that's even before I start building good naval techs. So how good are Britain going to be? I don't want to buy them off of people, because right now I've got more things to spend money on than I've got cash. I mean, yes, Russia, let's trade. They're raiding the Crimean Carnate territories. So let's let good old Crimean Carnate see them off. Yep, let's let the British attack us. Just so we can get so we can get our extra couple of uh, unit bonuses. Barbary states are being sneaky. And that's Pirates. Swedes have not backed the Russians. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here. Okay, so let's re. Let's upgrade the farms on our protected territory, at least. Let's rebuild the fur trader. Let's upgrade the fishery. So I'll get, keep Norway growing. You're already a major fishery. Let's upgrade uh, the weaver's cottage. Stockholm's growing quite nicely. So, yeah, they do they're still unhappy with us, but when everything gets built, I think they'll be they'll be able to handle it. Now let's build up the ordnance factory. So our economy has been hit, but not massively. Yeah, so right now this is a, this is an, a beatable navy potentially. Same with this one. To be honest, they're just churning out lots of fifths. So if I keep my strength up here, like I could build fifths to try and repel them, but I'd like to build fourths. But right now I've got other things to spend the money on. So that's common land enclosures built. In one turn we'll get the drill school. So let's go for social contract. Actually, let's go to Russia. So right now I've got... Yeah, I'm not going to bother trading with Russia. Oh, the Ottomans. I don't want to give them anything because I just looked. They're allies with Sweden. So I don't want them to risk giving Sweden useful tech. Let's replenish the pikes with whatever we've got left. Cool. But let's hopefully the British will attack us. Because right now we're fully replenished. 
we'll get the last few garrison units. Actually, if I pull this militia unit out. Okay, so it depends. Do I want militia units? Because right now, if I pull the militia unit out, ooh, if I pull this militia unit out, I still get a full garrison bonus. So it's the gamble of do I want. If I lose the militia, I increase the chance of getting a garrison line, but I also increase the chance of getting armed mob or something rubbish. So I think I'll probably stay with that actually. Don't worry, you you guys will pay for this. Still on four grand though, thankfully, because you've got Sweden. Sweden's actually it's not even half of it. Actually, it is half of it, but it's still let's hit and turn, and let's let them lay siege. Oh, good. They've left. But it looks like Britain will end up. Britain's just. It looks like Britain's going to just keep firing armies at us. So we either withstand and deal with the armies as they come until we build up a decent navy, or I just try a long shot, drop an army off their coast and try and capture something. That could be an option if we got fire by rank, I think, because I don't know if I don't know if they'll have it by now. But it's a good option if I could take something like Ireland to establish a solid base. It could be quite useful. Hmm. Because obviously I want Iceland back as well. So it's not as though we're going to make peace with Britain. We're just going to have to beat the swine. So this must be more of a build-up episode, but that's to be expected, playing as a minor power. <laughs> Ooh, that's risky, moving your garrison out of Moscow. Here we go. Courland, for some reason, in the med. <laughs> I don't even have any cities there. They don't even, don't even have any safe ports. The Barbary states are on the move. Please blockade Britain. Mm, here come the Russians. City besieged Copenhagen. Wow, our income's gone down a lot. Let's repair the port, let's repair the farm, because now they're engaged in combat. Yes, yeah, so you've got some waters and stuff. Okay, let's hit them. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the, the Sally of Denmark. Cheers, guys. Thank you.